the only way I believe in any world, in any country, for women to succeed is through higher education. Since I was a child, my mother always emphasized that me and my sister should pursue higher education. And my sister became a dentist. I did my PhD at Concordia, and the rest is history. She came from Iran in 1979 with $2,000. She comes to Canada, and at uh, Montreal, she attends Concordia University, got her master's degree, and eight years after that, uh, she becomes uh, the first uh, woman PhD graduate of Concordia University in engineering. Professor Cedric Marsh, the initial professor that she worked under and studied under, I mean, he really did a lot to boost her along. To her, it's like payback time. I now look back and I say, wow, you were strong. You had $2,000 in your pocket. What were you thinking? But he changed my life. So did Concordia. Tina is uh, an amazing friend. She's a brilliant, brilliant person, and you can see it in her eyes. Of course, later on, uh, she goes on and becomes, uh, you know, the owner and the president of one of major engineering uh, construction company in Ontario. Well, I think if you look at her record, Gina has been very successful, and you have to take that into context in terms of the era and within the industries she was involved with at the time, which even to this day are primarily male-dominated. And I think that speaks volumes about who Gina is. I don't think there's any doubt that she's an exceptional role model for women engineers. But above that, I think she's, uh, she's aspiring for anyone wanting to a career in engineering. Gina's always been very driven. I mean, uh, she, moss doesn't grow under Gina's feet. I think the thing I've learned about Gina is that she is very family-oriented that she really cares about family, whether it's your family by blood or family of people that you're working around. And that kind of care and compassion for individuals only helps you as a leader bring out the best in everyone around you. She encouraged, not just me, she encouraged everybody around her. Growing up, my mom was my biggest inspiration. She was my idol. For her, when my dad passed away, she promised she'd always be there for me for him, and so she has. J'espère que ma mère peut inspirer des autres femmes à aller dans les sciences, les mathématiques, le génie, um, et réaliser leur potentiel. I think it gives them uh, hope that they can move up the ladder. There is no cap, there is no a level that they can say, okay, they can go any higher than this. The sky is the limit. The impact of Gina Cody Gift on the faculty would be huge. We aspire to train the next generation of engineering and computer science leaders that can develop technological advances for the benefit of society. Gina and Tom are builders. They're people who have a vision for the future. They want to make a, a gift that's substantial and that has a significant and long-lasting impact. And this gift allows us to build on that incredible strength that's already nationally and internationally known and recognized and respected to make it even stronger, even better for the next generation. My hope is that any barriers to women within the STEM fields, including engineering, are starting to break down, that there will be more women within engineering whether they are female, indigenous, colored, from different genders, they're all equal and they all can achieve what they want. Of course, as an engineer, as a scientist, but uh, as a person who wants to give back to Canada, I think that is, that's what makes her very, very unique. And I believe it may be the first engineering faculty in Canada named after a woman as well. To me, that's great news for Concordia. J'espère que cette don encourage plusieurs femmes d'entrer en génie. I would say Gina Cody is an inspiration for everyone. Je suis très fière de ma mère de pouvoir faire ça pour la prochaine génération. Doesn't matter what color is your skin, what gender you have, it does not matter. You can do what you want. And we are looking at next gen now. And my donation is towards the next gen.